Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. We're here celebrating our 100th episode. We're going to look at some stunning quilts from the Country Women's Association from the Yarra Valley. Let's take a look. On the, the entry fees to the group show, they all, every, the, all profit and, goes to the CWA group and we go to, to the pink bus. So the raffle tickets, the entry, 10% of anything that's sold and yes. some of the quilts is the whole price of the quilt. They've just donated the quilt, so $150 here, $50 there. So it's all going to the pink bus. So we're hoping we give him a, a nice yes. a nice lump <laughs> sum to, to help out. Uh, Lovely. <laughs> Like doing a new bus for this area. There's the crochet, yes. crochet, and these are all hand done on a piece of canvas. So it's machine quilted, made machine sewn, and uh, it's all the animal, all the birds, and the flowers of each state in America. It should be the other way up, but we haven't got a high enough ceiling, um, and I mean, it's up for sale. It's five thousand dollars, but the work that's gone into it is just phenomenal. Today we're also going to talk to Anne-Marie from the Waratina Lavender Farm about her product. We make 85% of our product that you can see through here. And we concentrate on growing two different sorts of lavender, an edible lavender and a non-edible lavender. So the edible lavender is one that goes into all the food products, the non-edible goes into the heat packs, sachets, sleep pillows, eye pillows, etc. Yes. And we like to give people the lavender experience when they come and visit.
thanks for joining us today in the craft room and at the Waratina Lavender Farm. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And see you next time when we will be in the craft room. Bye!